are you a manufacturer whose burning issue is inventory management hi there i'm kevin kishan india's leading business automation coach in past 8 years i'm helping manufacturers and traders to automate and scale their business with the power of business automation in today's video we shall talk about on how as a manufacturer you can manage your inventory real time to have the you know reliable stock always to deliver the orders on time now if you're watching this video on youtube make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon as well if you're watching it on linkedin or facebook make sure you click on the like button as well so that this video could reach out to many manufacturers and could be really helpful for them now talking about inventory while as a manufacturer has many issues in plate but inventory management is one of the issue where they are not able to you know tackle it with it smartly because they are managing inventory on either diaries or excel files and because of which they do not get real time updates and there is no synchronization in between the the material which is required versus the material which is in the uh, stock right and because of the miscommunication a lot of times you know the problems get created in the company so let's first of all discover and discuss the challenges which manufacturers are facing when it comes to the inventory management and then we shall talk about the solutions as well but if you are a trader or if you are a distributor or a wholesaler then there is another lesson which i have recorded for you where you will learn on how can you manage your inventory so the link will be on at the right top because the inventory for manufacturers and inventory management for traders and distributors are completely different now let's come back and let's talk about the challenges of manufacturers so first challenge is that business owners the manufacturers do not have tracking of the inventory in the store in the warehouse they do not have a real time update on how much material is available for which particular item right they do not have the you know knowledge and the numbers uh, as per the sq number they have the estimate but they do not have a real time number they do not have a real time report and because of it what happens sometimes any product becomes overstocking or sometimes you know it comes as understocking where they'll have to urgently order and vendor delays the you know delivery bill deliver uh, the order and because of which the production gets delayed so this problem of overstocking and understocking happens because the business owners do not have the live tracking of the current inventory and what happens because of which there are a lot of times normal and abnormal wastages which are happening because of overstocking a lot of material gets wasted because some of the time few materials have a certain life span right life span and because of which because of the expiry you don't cannot use the material again and again right so you need to have the right material at the right time for certain number of time so that it could be used for production and you could create the finished goods and sell it and get the payment as well and because of which this overstocking and understocking uh, a lot of times the materials are not available in the warehouse and then you get to know it at the last moment you order it from vendor vendor delays the delivery deliver uh, delivery and you end up delaying the orders right and which reduces customer satisfaction and they end up stop giving you the referrals and more orders your resources your employees are not getting optimized properly your machines stop working if you do not have the right material at the right time as well and it ends up you know wasting a lot of time right of your employees and of your machines just quickly type in the comment box on how many times you end up reordering the stock which is already lying in the warehouse now let's talk about the solution what is the solution which is required for your business so the solution is this inventory management systems now understand when it comes to the inventory management it is divided in two parts one is raw material and one is finished good you order the raw material from vendors right you have it in your stock you use it and you create some finished goods which are going for the sales or which are going to the client now you need to manage two type of inventory stock firstly the raw material stock how much raw material is available for which item how many quantities are there and the finished good stock as well for example if you are producing the phone and uh, if 
you get 100 pieces order you might end up manufacturing 120 because you already know that okay next time the customer will place another order after one week so it's good that you product you know produce it in advance so next time when you get an order you need to know that there are 20 pieces which are already lying in the warehouse and if the order is of 50 you need to just produce 30 more and you could deliver the next batch as well but how do you track it and the same way for the inventory of the raw materials as well because the raw material and the finished goods they are connected right and you need to have a real time report of the same but unfortunately when you go for expensive softwares the softwares are working on a one single computer right where one person is sitting and you know just doing the data entry and it does not give you the report which you need and your employees who could do the data entry at the gate when the material is coming they cannot access that particular computer and they just note it down and give it to that teammate who ends up making a lot of mistakes while doing the data entry so how can we avoid it by you know focusing on google form and google sheet based solution and that is this one now this is a solution which is right now being used by hundreds of manufacturers in india who are under our business automation training so it is divided in two parts firstly raw material so when i open this particular sheet when i open this particular sheet here i click on the option called tools and i go to the option called go to live form so i go to the form called raw material received form okay now i give this form to somebody who is at the gate or somebody who's receiving the raw material right and this google form can be added on the mobile phone as well and that person can choose the raw material here we just written the codes a1 a2 a3 here you can write your sqs or the raw material which is coming right so example in this particular product a1 f or maybe a5 if we are receiving 50 quantities of it and here we can write the po number right what is the purchase number what is the supplier name now here again we can have the drop downs instead of just the number or just the text right and when we give the purchase order to the vendor that purchase order number list from google sheet could come here as well as a drop down so that automation could be done using the add-on called form ranger so here instead of writing you know you could directly just have a drop down here your teammate just choose the date of receiving and click on submit so raw material receiving form is filled and here you have received you can see this entry has been received the raw material a5 and quantity uh, 50 has been received here right now if i go to this particular sheet which is called raw material stock here i'm getting all the raw materials uh, items which category they are part of right and here when it comes to the category i can go to setting sheet i can define unit kg liter number or meter or centimeter or anything i can define what all type of categories i have when it comes to the raw material and here i can define all the raw material items and which category they are part of what is their unit and what is the rate usually which i you know will receive from the vendors and here when i talk about a5 uh, right now i have got 506 uh, items which are lying in the warehouse right now right but how many has been issued zero zero has been issued for the production this a5 item and that's the reason it is zero here and right now in the stock we have 506 items now here uh, this was the raw material received form now, another sheet is raw material issue master here if i go to this i click on go to live form so whenever the production is starting right the production manager can choose the form and choose what all items are going to be used for production so here he can write okay the a5 the 100 quantities are going to be required under any order number which he could write okay any order number as well what is going to be customer name okay at what date the issue is happening what is the production date and click on submit so now this raw material has been issued for production and that is coming here as well so we received 50 and 
already we had few items here and here we have issued it 100 now we saw that in the raw material we had zero quantity issued but now if i go to the raw material report for a5 i can see that we received 506 and right now 100 items have been issued for production and right now only 400 items are left in the stock right now this is called the real time report getting it now using this form your teammate can receive the raw material from the vendor and all this could be customized the this drop down and the PO the supply name could come as a drop down and this issue raw material issue this item is also coming from a list and here the order number could come from a, a order master and the customer name could come from another Google sheet where you have the list of all the customers as well and here real time you're getting the real time raw material report the same way here is the production master okay when I'm clicking on the this form now this is where now we are talking about the finished good okay that while I'm using any particular raw material for the production right here now I'm choosing that which product is actually going to be manufactured for example out of 100 raw materials I'm creating one mobile phone right so for example I go for P5 now this product we are producing 100 items today under the order number called SD001 now this order number is similar to the order number which we used for issuing the raw material as well right so for the order number for which we issued the material raw material for that order number now we are producing the 100 items under the customer name and the date of production could be any date that you choose now here when I clicked on it here it says that 100 items of P5 has been manufactured right now before I issue it or deliver it to the client I want you to check out the product stock now there are two kind of stock this is the raw material stock and this is the product stock final the product stock again here we have the list of products which category they are part of what is their unit right and if when it comes to the P5 as the product we have uh, 100 items which we have manufactured and right now zero has been issued we have right now it in stock 100 items but customer had placed the order of only 80 items or maybe customer had placed the order of 100 but the customer wants you to give it to them every week 20 pieces right so your teammate goes to product issue master sheet go click on tool and click on this sheet which is called product dispatch form choose the product write 20 items under the SD 001 choose customer now all of this could come as a drop down as well automatically and click on submit so P5 product the 20 items has been now dispatched right uh, through this Google form and here this is the issue master this was the production master this was the issue master okay uh, this many items has been issued now if I go to the product master stock product stock the report so for product P5 100 items were received or produced and 20 have been dispatched and how many are left 80 items are left right now here you might be wondering that cable this is showing us everything real time now this is what makes this system unique out of all other softwares that you might have seen till late the best part here everything is getting entered through a simple google form and you know in the google forms you are having drop downs check boxes because of which you are mitigating all the possibilities of errors and mistakes and when the data is going on a google sheet it's through real time backend coding you're getting real time raw material report as well as finished goods report as well click on the you know like button if you're liking this video make sure you share it with your manufacturing friends as well now before i share more details i want you to focus on this one feature of the system one of the concept which you know every manufacturer tries to have in their business is reorder limit every manufacturer wants that an automated signal should be created whenever any item goes below below a certain reorder limit 
for example uh, i want to have at least 50 items of this particular mobile so that uh, if it goes below 50 items i ask my team to create another 50 or 100 items so that i all you know always have some stock for new orders or same case for raw material as well so here in both reports raw material and in the finished good we have a column called reorder reorder limit right and whenever this stock goes below the reorder limit right it becomes red it means it give you the green signal that now it's time for you to order this so example if i just right now talk about this a5 raw material and the reorder limit limit is 80 and and right now we have uh, 400 items in our hand you know stock so if i use more than more than uh, 350 items it will become red because reorder limit is 80 and after using 350 items it will be lesser than 80 left in the stock so i'll go for this 350 items and i have chosen 350 right now you can see it has gone as 56 and now it is lesser than 80 that's the reason it has become red right so you or your teammate could just have a look at the screen on which items are red you or your teammate can quickly order it and you will never be overstock as well as understock right so this is what solve the biggest challenges and problems of the industry now before moving on let me share with you the benefits right of this entire system first of all it you know keeps the tracking of your inventory and offers a centralized view of your raw material and your finished good you get automatic assessing of reorder quantities and get notified it reduces the cost of your wastage there is no delay in the order delivery now because you have all the material required for you to produce the items the time the most precious asset that you have the depreciating asset time you're saving it now it manages the planning and forecasting by analyzing the data trends as well it tells you which items are going to go below, below the reorder limit soon and you can create some reports as well on the top of it right go ahead and share this video with as many fellow manufacturers as you can you might be right now wondering cable how can we get access to all these systems how can we also become system driven and you know run our business understand you are not alone there are right now lakhs of business owners in india who are using business automation and upgrading and automating their business and they are way ahead than the business owners who are running everything on excel or diaries right this week i am conducting a business automation workshop a two hours of workshop where you are going to discover on why you need to become system dependent instead of people dependent what are the systems and tools that you need as a business owner even if you're a non technical person how can it put your entire business on autopilot mode and how can you by investing 30 minutes a day automate your entire business in less than 8 weeks understand nothing will change if you will not change anything right if you keep running your business with the old ways of diaries and excel files you will always be far fighting you will always be in chaos so stop complaining and start taking action because this is the video and the lesson that i have taken you through this is a new way of running your business of growing your manufacturing business go ahead in the description there might be a link for you to register for my upcoming a uh, master class or you can go to my website called kevalkishan.com and register for my upcoming workshop i'll see you live so that together i can help you automate your business till then keep learning keep automating and keep scaling your business